Hey there, I'm Ian Hoffman. Hi, I'm Sarah Hoffman. And we are writers, and we work together, and we are the authors of Jacob's New Dress, Jacob's Room to Choose, and Jacob's School Play, starring he, she, and they. And today we're going to read um, Jacob's Room to Choose. Sarah, do you want to do the reading? Sure. Okay. Jacob's Room to Choose by Sarah and Ian Hoffman. Illustrated by Chris Case. The carpet was warm. The bunnies were funny. Jacob and Sophie loved library time. Okay, kids, said Ms. Reeves. We've got 10 minutes left. Does anyone need to use the bathroom before we head back to class? Jacob and Sophie raised their hands. They stopped outside the bathroom doors. Do you think it's okay, asked Sophie. I don't know, said Jacob. Sophie walked through one door. Jacob took a deep breath and walked through the other. Two boys were at the sinks. They stared at Jacob standing in the doorway. Jacob knew what that look meant. He turned and ran out. Jacob stood in the hall, his heart pounding. Just then Sophie ran out of the bathroom. It was hard for Jacob to talk. Did you get chased out? Sophie nodded. Back at the library, Sophie shifted from foot to foot. I need to use the bathroom, she said. Ms. Reeves was confused. Didn't you and Jacob just go to the bathroom? Sophie squeezed her eyes shut against the tears. They wouldn't let her, said Jacob. They said she had to use the boys' room. Ms. Reeves looked inside the bathroom. It was empty. Anybody in there? There was no response. She waited in the hall while Sophie and Jacob went in. Better, asked Ms. Reeves. Yes, said Sophie. Has this happened before? Sophie and Jacob glanced at each other. Usually I don't go to school, said Jacob. I don't go at school, said Jacob. Sophie started to cry again. It's not fair, said Sophie. No, agreed Ms. Reeves. She gave them both a hug. It isn't. Back in the classroom, Ms. Reeves drew on the board. What do these pictures mean? Boys and girls, the kids shouted happily. Okay, said Ms. Reeves, but how do you know? The girl has long hair, said Emily, and she's wearing a dress. The boy's wearing shorts, said Noah, and a t-shirt. Now, I want each of you to stand near the picture that looks like you, said Ms. Reeves. Jacob and Sophie looked at Ms. Reeves. Ms. Reeves winked back. Hold on, called Ms. Reeves. Noah, you have long hair. That sign shows short hair. And Emily, you're wearing pants, but the person on that sign's wearing a dress. Ms. Reeves scratched her head. Why don't you two switch places? Noah shrugged and walked to where Ms. Reeves pointed. Emily looked at the group of boys. I don't want to stand there, she said. Why not? asked Ms. Reeves. Because I'm a girl. Ms. Reeves studied the children again. You know what? A lot of you don't look like the signs. Let's try this. Look at the person next to you and help them stand next to people who look like them. Arguing and giggling, the kids shuffled and reshuffled until everyone found a place to stand. Ms. Reeves pointed to the board. So, are these pictures of what boys and girls really look like? Yes, said Emily. No, said Sophie. Sometimes, said Jacob. I wonder, said Ms. Reeves, if there's another way. Everyone has to use the bathroom, right? Maybe the sign should be pictures of toilets, shouted Noah. Everyone giggled. We should make our own bathroom sign, said Sophie. And rules, said Jacob. Like, if you're in the bathroom and you see a kid who doesn't look like you, leave them alone. Or I have to pee, so let me be, said Noah. The giggling turned to cheers. Great ideas, said Ms. Reeves. Let's get to work. The afternoon was filled with markers and laughter. New bathroom signs went up. The bunny signs were funny. I think my favorite sign is bathrooms are for everybody. Jacob and Sophie stopped outside the bathroom doors. 
Do you think it's okay? asked Jacob. Sophie smiled. I think it will be, she said. And in they went. That was great. Thanks for reading that. Thanks for listening. Okay, we'll see you. Bye.